if you're a glaucoma patient, once you've been, we've established you on a treatment regime and you feel a bit more comfortable, like coming for your follow-ups, you know what's expected, what can then creep up on you is the fact that just because you have just because you have glaucoma doesn't mean that you won't get other eye problems. And of course, cataracts come to everybody as they get older. What you may not know, though, is that actually operating on your cataract can also help your glaucoma. And I find now that most patients would sit back with me and say, really, one thing can help the other. Because I think once you have one eye condition and somebody says, actually, you've got another problem, the shoulders tend to go down. I think, oh gosh, you know, I'm already dealing with one thing. I don't need another eye problem to deal with. But actually, we have this marvelous operation now called cataract plus procedures, or also known as minimally or micro-invasive glaucoma surgery. And as somebody who does these procedures regularly and who's very experienced in them, I find it a wonderful opportunity. I'm almost glad sometimes when my glaucoma patient has cataracts too, because it means that by trying to improve their vision with the surgery, I can also make their glaucoma treatment less onerous or much easier for them to cope with. So at the time of your cataract operation, we could spend five or 10 minutes at the end of that procedure. So we're already inside the eye anyway. We don't need to make any special extra cuts or incisions in the eye. We use the same things that we would do when we're actually doing the cataract operation to either put a little micro stent inside the eye at the same time, or we might use a laser treatment inside the eye to reduce the amount of fluid that your eye is producing internally. And both of those things can really help reduce your need for drops in the long term. So it makes absolute sense to me that if you are a glaucoma patient who's using drop treatment and you're told that you have cataracts as well, that you should ask your specialist specifically about whether the cataract operation can be used to help treat your glaucoma as well. Because imagine if you're on one drop only before the operation and I'm able to say to you, well, I think there's a really good chance that after the operation we may be able to stop these drops for a period of time. Even if that's only two years, three years or five years, I still think it's a worthwhile consideration because any period of time off drops, I think, is very helpful to the patient. And as we grow in experience in using these devices, we have lots of data that we can share with you. Not all implants are suitable for all people. Um, my experience in particular is in using um, the outflow stents, such as the eye stent um, and the suprachoroidal stents, which are, have been very effective in reducing eye pressure, but also the laser treatment. In my NHS contract, we have been doing the, the laser inside the eye for more than 10 years now and have the largest um, patient database of, um, of people who've undergone this treatment. So we're very experienced in assessing which of these micro or minimally invasive treatments might be right for you. What I would say is I think, I think all patients would expect their specialist to appraise them of all the options that are available. And I think sometimes, if you're not used to some of these newer techniques, that may not be discussed with you. And I think it can be a missed opportunity. I think most of the risk, and the risk is low from cataract surgery, but most of the risk comes from infection. And if you're inside the eye already, it makes absolute sense to me that you use five or 10 minutes at the end of that procedure to help the other condition that your eye has. And if you're an insured patient, the vast majority of these stents or laser treatments are covered by your insurer, so it's not an optional add-on or an expensive add-on. Um, and in terms of cost effectiveness, if you are self-funding your treatment, again, I would encourage you to think about it because in the longer term, it can save you money because of you know, reduced needs for prescriptions, the time that you take around ordering and renewing your prescriptions and the admin around that. So minimally or micro-invasive glaucoma surgery as part of a cataract operation is here to stay and our experience with it is only going to grow. So don't be afraid to ask your specialist about whether it might be suitable for you.